Here are true facts about zebra finch communication. Zebra finches originate from Australia, the land of upside down zees. They're an extremely social species of bird that have a variety of vocalizations to communicate with each other. One might wonder, what do these calls mean? What are they saying? Who are Jack and Deborah gossiping about? To understand the zebra finch's vocal repertoire, researchers at the University of California, Berkeley recorded and categorized over 8,000 finch vocalizations. They listened to this all day. The three main types of vocalizations zebra finches make are songs, fight or flight calls, and contact calls. Songs are used to attract mates, and fight or flight calls are pretty obvious. But what are contact calls used for exactly? To explain why the zebra finches make contact calls, imagine you're playing Marco Polo with your significant other, except that when they stop responding, they're either cheating on you or dead. That is how the zebra finch do. But how do these creatures learn their vocalizations? As it turns out, most of their songs are actually unlearned, meaning it's hardwired into their genetics. This means that they already know how to make and what most of their vocalizations mean. However, songs only produced by males are actually learned. So how exactly are they learned? This is John, a cute little young Zebe. As a baby, he cannot sing very well. Better than what I can do. Unlike me, he'll grow up to be a much greater singer. And much better with the ladies than me too. This is because of a part of his brain called the high vocal center, or HVC. This area of the brain connects with the anterior and posterior song pathways, which both have to do with the development and production of songs respectively. By trying to imitate others, the baby ZBs go from repetition to serial production, much like how baby humans learn to talk, except that baby humans don't have wings or a beak. So songs are learned and other calls are genetically programmed. But finches also have their own voices and these can be determined by their genetics in different ways. Mary here, for example, inherited her vocal characteristics from her mother and they won't change throughout her life. Her genetics predispose her to have a certain way of saying something, like tomato and tomato, except genetically dispositioned to say tomato. John here also inherited some vocal characteristics, so he may sound like his dad at first. He will alter his voice and learn his song in the presence of other adult males, like learning to say tomato versus tomato, except he also copied Uncle Jerry's weird accent. This need to communicate is so hardwired into their biology, ZBs have been found to even dream about their singing. Researchers decided to annoy a male by playing his song back to him while he was sleeping, and found that there was brain activity and muscular stimulation in the syrinx. Why this activation happens is unclear, but it just goes to show how sensitive they are to their own calls. It's that important to them. So while you may be dreaming of driving that new car or failing that math exam, they dream of singing their little melodies, sleep tight little guy, and communicate on.